right here for example very 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 thin right here as you can see as I put my hand to it almost like the knot the knots right here that it has this doesn't have it at all so if I twist it you'll be able to see how thin that is happy Thanksgiving y'all happy Thanksgiving to everybody right now in the United States I don't know if other places they celebrate it maybe on a different day or something like that but happy Thanksgiving to everybody for those that don't know what Thanksgiving is it's basically where families gather around and be grateful for what they have or you know mention anything that they are thankful for and celebrate it by having like a big dinner or a lunch or a breakfast it's just different traditions in different homes but this is the time everybody is thankful I'm more I'm more most thankful right now for my family of course here and my church family that I'm connected with of course my, when I say my family here I only have my wife and her family of course I don't have my family here my church family is the second family that I have and the third family that I have is you guys Activerse Universe and I really appreciate you guys uh, this includes you know diverse family pineapple world you know on TikTok, everything like that it includes everybody so thank you for that I'm thankful for you comment down below what you're thankful for but there's a lot to talk about today because we were talking about thinning out locks, how to fix it, and what causes it. Because those are the big things that a lot of people miss out on whenever they are dealing with dreadlocks. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video though, we have a new intro! Another video of Activerse Universe today is a new day. Hey, we got a what? We got a biker. Let's go. Yes. So guys, I got done washing my hair today. On the last video, you'll see how to wash your hair uh, with a shampoo. The best shampoo I've used, and I recommend it on that video if you guys have not seen it. A lot of gems in that video, but my hair is kind of wet right now. And I started noticing, you know, a lot of things that are going on with my hair, like, you know, thinning out things and things like that, man. Let, let, let's just get into it. Top three things that causes your hair to thin out is, of course, first thing, first is small sections to begin with, like really tiny sections, and also later on basically the weight of the lock so this is a, a, into one category so if you have smaller sections you have to be careful with your draw locks because as it grows out to be big and heavier it will start to pull down on your hair and of course whenever you're washing it like right now I'm washing it and my hair is heavier this is the time like thinning out on the roots can happen and even on the other part of the draw locks thinning out happens for example I have a bleached draw lock so washing my hair is not the best thing for my hair because the water weight really pulls down on my uh, draw lock and since it's very bleached already and the bleach makes it lose its strength so now with the water weight it's literally just like it's pulling it apart so you guys can see uh, to the tip of it kind of the thin out problem uh, right here you guys can see another thin and out problem and if I can just pull a little bit lightly the, the hair started to come out and it's because of basically washing my hair mainly bleaching my hair if it was just a regular dreadlocks I wouldn't have that much that issue right there it just literally pulls away and this is the side effect of bleach but over time of course it is the weight of the lock with the water and and the section is not as thick it's pretty thick my dreadlock but as time goes on with the bleach it starts to thin out because it's losing its strength so uh, for those of you guys that have thinner dreadlocks be careful with the bleach I've always told people whenever you bleach your hair there's consequence to it I only do it because of my look and the way I, I want to look in it but in the future in the future sets that I'm gonna get of dreadlocks that's a hint for you I'm not gonna be bleaching my hair as much I'm not gonna promise that I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna bleach at all but I'm not gonna bleach as much number two is too much retwist too much of you touching your hair too much of you know you just fidgeting with your hair you know I know a lot of you guys have some addictive problems with touching your hair and you know your scalp is scratching yourself I'm guilty of it too it feels so good yeah let me stop 
Okay, this is not a good habit, guys. You guys need to stop. If you guys are doing it, stop because it will later on cause your hair to thin out. I've worked with the loctician. Uh, she's locked in love, which I feature on this channel and also on Pineapple World. Shameless plug. Check out Pineapple World YouTube channel. It is where your journey matters. This is where you we focus around your journey and you get to share your journey on our Instagram and our Facebook page called Pineapple Fam. Link in the description. But she uh, is locked in love. She basically went through this guy's uh, dreadlock. I think actually it was a female and she notices something. There is a lot of locks coming out of the original roots. And that's what lets you know about people that touch their hair, people that, you know, extremely bleach their hair, and different things like that will later on suffer this consequence as you are seeing my draw along who's kind of going through there right now. Uh, so, guys, please stop doing that. I'm here to educate you guys as I'm developing and growing as a person also, and also as a dreadhead. Some people don't say dreadhead. I'm going to get into that word very very soon I'm, I'm gonna break it down but let's stay away from touching our hair man number three not taking care of your hair this is very very important because there's a lot of people that may not have the time to take care of their hair and that's why they chose dreadlocks or they can't afford to get a retwist or maybe not have enough availability with water or shampoos to wash their hair that's causing it the hair to mold and different things to happen to the dreadlocks later on you know your hair just lacks a lot of nutrition and it can't even continue anymore because it needs its original strength, its protein and different things that it needs. But as, a, as you know, dreadlock is a bunch of hair clumped up together. And so once most of them are starting to rip off, the heaviness of the dreadlock itself will pull it away. As I mentioned on the number one reason why it thin out. Uh, let me put also a disclaimer about the number one reason. Uh, it, that is not uh, commonly happen a lot because you have thinner dreadlocks. But it happens because of the weight of the dreadlock and that it doesn't have a strength to hold that weight so if you take care of your hair moisturize your hair and different things like that it's like how could that happen it's like putting d4w god dang it what's that thing basically oil d4w i don't know man i hate that word d4w d40 whatever that is you know what i'm talking about you're probably laughing about the comment go ahead and comment what that is i know somebody had helped me out before for it but it's almost like you know putting oil to your car it's almost like whenever something is squeezing on your door putting that d4w whatever oil to make it stop squeezing squeakling you need that for your hair also so that there's not a lot of friction going on with the dry part of your locks to where it starts to break apart and, and it starts to thin out so those are the top three reasons why I thin out but I'm gonna also help you guys fix it by giving you the top three ways to fix thinning out problems in the future if you guys want to see this broken down into each single videos let me know and also I can do like a short video like I do a quick tip Tuesdays of each method of preventing it maybe or what causes it to show you guys best method to recover or fix a thinning out problem is by combining locks yes I said it combining your dreadlocks most of the times when a thinning out happens is around the roots and so you're able to get the roots that's still working and then the part that's thinning out and then you're able to attach the roots to the next locks that's near it and by twisting it and uh, you know almost like a two strand twist or a coil method by twisting them together so they can hold each other accountable so they can be together that's you know what they say about you know if you work together you can accomplish more things same thing works with dreadlocks I have a lock right now right here that I noticed that it was in a two strand twist for about probably if not it's in the braid actually it's in the braid for about a month or two and I just now noticed it when I was washing my hair and it's literally all together three drill locks and it's because it's crazy because the roots are pretty thin and I am sketchy about thin drill locks in general in the future maybe if I don't bleach my hair I'll get thinner drill locks but as it is right now I have to keep it this way because if I take it out it's pretty bad but I'm gonna still show you guys so you guys can learn and understand the consequence of these things that happens when you do things with your drill locks you're gonna be surprised how thin these locks are right here so you see how thin these drill locks are they're not that bad most of your guys' drill locks are already like this but like i said i'm very skeptical about it especially that i bleached it yeah with the bleach and stuff like that it's not helping dog it's really not so right here for example very 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 thin right here as you can see as i put my hand to it almost like the knot the knots right here that it has this doesn't have it at all 
So if I twist it, you'll be able to see how thin that is. And this happened, of course, through time of bleaching my hair and being in the back of my hair also is kind of like giving it exposure to a lot of friction. And where there is a lot of friction and dryness of your hair, a lot of breakage happen. Uh, unless, of course, there's moisturization, then friction is good, of course, to lock your hair. So moisturize your hair, guys. That is the first way to prevent it by connecting it to the next dreadlock, but also moisturization of your hair is really good for prevention, not for fixing. Because once it's thin out, to fix it would be to combine it to the next dreadlocks, but to prevent it would be to moisturize your locks, to condition your locks and different things like that, which I have never gotten to it on this journey, but I believe on the next journey, I'll be more locked in with the nature. The second way of preventing a thin dreadlock is by actually adding more hair to it. Yeah, sounds crazy, but I've learned this method and it really surprised me. And she's locked in love, had done it on a client and I was able to witness it with my own eyes. So she added an external hair. This is an additional hair that was sent to me by a lock company. If you guys wanna know this, this sender, check out this video right here. Uh, as I added extension to my dreadlocks, actually my dreadlocks do have an extension added to them. Let me show you guys. Yep, these are the extensions that I added. And this is their extension, almost look like my hair. The only thing is missing is the color, but I'm dying or bleaching my hair soon. I know guys, I'm preaching against it and doing it, but this probably is gonna be my last set of dye ever. Not ever, but with these locks, these sets of locks. I don't know what's gonna happen with the future. Da -da -da -da. Let's get into more of what we're talking about. But by adding your hair like this video right here, you are able to support the lock that's losing a lot of its strength and thus causing it to be more stronger from the roots. So whenever you add, of course, the hair, you have to match it with the roots. And if, the, if it doesn't have any roots in the bottom of the dreadlock, just go for adding it to the next sets of locks, like the number one method I mentioned. But if it does have some hair on the roots, then you can use this method to thicken up the locks and connect it to the bottom piece also so this is an example right here make sure that the roots is there if it's not then it's kind of sketchy i don't know why you would do that number three is overlapping the thinness of the lock so i showed you guys earlier how thin this lock is right here how in the middle is very very skinny so how you would do it is overlapping it would be grabbing the part that's still good overlapping that part that is very thin just like so just like so and then grabbing a crochet needle and working it from this side, pulling it in, palm rolling it to add, like to add a little bit more friction and also hold to the locks that you just crochet needle. When you crochet needle, palm roll is good. Also for helping with the frizz, if you have a lot of frizz, use that method to kind of like put your hair together and a nice blunt look to your dreadlocks. That's it for the video guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see a whole separate video for each things that I talked about, let me know in the comments below because I will go into really depth about it for each thing that I mentioned, even if it's fixing or preventing it. I can, I can go on and on, but this is a good amount of things for you guys to you know work with. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse, I'm out. Stay tuned. You dig? That's it. That's the outro.